a walking tour of the canals in Venice Beach, California. I'm Chris. This is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through this part of Venice Beach that most people never go to. Most people, when they come to Venice Beach, they come to see the boardwalk. But most people don't even realize that there's canals in Venice Beach. Well, Venice Beach, when it was founded by Abbott Kinney, was intended to be the Venice of America. And so actually, lots of Venice Beach had canals. More, in fact, than today, most of these canals have been filled in. But there is still one neighborhood in Venice Beach where these canals remain. It is between Venice Boulevard and Washington, so between the the main kind of intersection of Venice Boulevard and the boardwalk and the Venice Beach Pier. Here, this is the Grand Canal. There's a little library on it. This Grand Canal has some pretty nice houses along it. The houses have little boats in front of them. Some of them have their own little piers. Many people have been referring to Venice Beach as the West Side Skid Row because there's a bit of a homeless problem in certain parts of Venice Beach, but not this part of Venice Beach. This part of Venice Beach is quite nice and is the, I would say, most expensive part of Venice Beach, though I'm sure that some of the oceanfront boardwalk houses are, in fact, even more expensive. We're not currently here at Christmas time, but these houses all do decorate pretty nicely for Christmas. So if you want a special time of year to come to the canals, come here and check it out during Christmas. I love that some of these houses with their boats are creative. They're not just kayaks or canoes, but they are swan boats or flamingo boats. We'll come to that one in just a little bit. Now, walking along the Grand Canal, there's two sides you can walk on. You can walk on the part that's closest to the beach, or you can walk on the part that I'm on, which is on the other side of it. I think this is the best side to walk on because you go over these neat pedestrian bridges. There's also one car street that goes through here. And so that bridge you see in the distance, that is Dell Avenue. If you want to just drive through the canals, then head on Dell Avenue. These bridges are spots to take some of the best pictures of the canal. If you wonder why I took my thumbnail, it was on one of these bridges, just like this. This is the great spot to get your pictures, the pedestrian bridges, the street bridge. If you're doing it on the street, make sure you don't get hit by the cars. A lot of these houses have murals on it. This one here has the mural that says Venice of America. We'll get a little bit of a closer look at that one. Because as I say, that was Abbott Kinney's original vision was for Venice Beach to be the Venice of America. But many of these houses, when they were built, they didn't have uh, sewers. The sewers from the houses actually dumped into the canals. And so the earliest Venice Beach was actually a really stinky and smelly place. It started as its own city, and when it was annexed to the city of Los Angeles, they filled in the canals, built in sewers, made it more sanitary. Uh, but it's good they still left the, the flamingo crossing. I'm really happy to see that. There's a few more pedestrian bridges that go over the Grand Canal this way. So if you're looking to walk into the canal, you can cross those. I typically walk into the canals from Venice Boulevard and Dell Avenue, that intersection, it's just the one I, I particularly like. Some of these houses, their docks are little floating docks that they've put tables and chairs on, which is kind of neat. You know, this is definitely, definitely the good living here on the, the Venice canals. I was just over on the boardwalk shooting my boardwalk walking tour, and I saw some, some fights of the homeless people on the beach because there's big tent cities, and there was an argument about who pushed some stuff and pushed some other stuff. So, uh, it's really quite noisy over there on the boardwalk. It's really quite quiet and relaxed here on these canals. And these houses, probably more expensive than I can afford, uh, but they're certainly something to, to give you a, a dream as you walk around here. This is a, another canal, the interior canals. It basically forms like a checkerboard. There's 
the Grand Canal that we've been walking on there, there's a parallel to it. So there's Dell Avenue that runs through the middle, and then there's one other canal that parallels the Grand Canal as kind of a big checkerboard square. It's quite a uh, small section, but it makes it easy that you can walk from one end of the Grand Canal to the other in, you know, 15 minutes flat. And that's even if you're taking pictures. If you want to, like, circle every sidewalk in the canals, that might take you a half hour, 40 minutes, just because you'd be trying to go on every sidewalk. And here's looking back at where we started along that Grand Canal. Oh, I love this. It is very Venice Beach. This girl who's walking here with the green shirt and the blue hair. That is that is Venice Beach for you. Indeed. OK, let's go ahead and walk back the direction we were walking. We see some people here. They've taken their boat up out of the water put some artwork on the back of it so it looks like a lion or a tiger or something like that. We see one lone American flag off in the distance, which makes this very different from Newport Beach, California, down in Orange County, which has some impressive boat docks and very impressive American flags. It is, Newport Beach is definitely the American dream. And so people are, people are proud of their country in Newport Beach for the riches it's been able to get them with their American flags. And here's, I think the last cross canal we're going to go on before we just complete the main canal section. And some of these houses clearly like this one have not really, this is like one of the classic houses, you know, it's just a little bit of a cottage. They have their sofa in their yard, though most of these houses have been converted into something fairly big like this one, multiple stories, much more modern looking because I think this is a very coveted part of Venice Beach to live in to get away from the noise and the crowds and there's a lot of big nice trees and if you live here there's no there's no car noise. I think that's always one of the neatest things about visiting Venice in Italy is the sounds of the city, right? Buses, scooters, things like that just melts away. And that all melts away here. Often walking around other parts of Venice Beach, I generally have a feeling of unease a lot of the time because of all the scooters and the other noisy things. Uh, but here I just have a real relaxed thing. This house is for lease, so you could you could get in on that one if you're looking to move in here. We got some folks that are fixing the gate. Just looks like that gate has seen better days. And now we're on the final final leg of the Grand Canal as it walks towards the Venice Beach Pier. It's also generally not too busy walking around here because, as I said before, I think most people have no idea that this even exists or no idea. I had probably been to Venice Beach five or ten times before I knew these canals were here. And now that I do know they're here, I actually try to visit them every time I come because it's just one of those really unique parts of Los Angeles and Venice that... You know, you know, there's like n no neighborhood quite like this anywhere else in the U.S. that I've been to. Now, if you've been to some other neighborhood that's like this, let me know in the comments some neighborhoods that you could think are maybe similar in Long Beach. There's this neighborhood called Naples, which has some boat canals that go through it. But those are much more for bigger boats and the houses are much higher. Uh, Balboa Island in Newport Beach feels like this, but it doesn't have canals. It has really expensive houses that also have boat docks. I don't think there's any any quite like, you know, Venice, Italy looking canals. I'm waiting for the gondolas. I have seen the gondolas in Long Beach at that neighborhood called Naples. There's also a gondola company that operates in Redondo Beach by the Redondo Beach Pier. But I think that would really, that would really class this up right here. This, uh, there's an apartment complex here, the Venice Canal Lucky Days Apartments. They are for rent. 
I'm trying to look and see if they have prices here. Wow. The four bedroom, three bath is $7,500 a month. And the studio one bath is $2,200 a month. So if you're curious how much the rent is here, somewhere between $7,000 a month for four bedrooms and $2,000 a month for a studio. Definitely not cheap for sure. It's not to say you probably couldn't find cheaper places to live in Venice, but if you want to live on the canal, that is definitely your spot. Now, if you're walking around these canals and you're hungry and you're taking this same lap that we did from Venice Boulevard towards the pier, one of our favorite places to eat in Venice is called CNO Trattoria or CNO uh, Cucina. They have two locations, one that's closer to the pier, one that's further away from the pier. They're both along this street. Really good pastas, lasagnas. Uh, so that is one of OC Girl's favorites. Actually, after making this video, we are going to pick up some pasta and take it home for dinner since we already had lunch earlier today in Santa Monica's Japan town. All right, and as we come this way, we can see at the end of the canal, there are some blinky lights and things that let you know, hey, this is the end of it. I don't know, they expect some big ships or something like that. There is nothing big in this canal ever. Uh, and then this street, this is Washington Boulevard. And just on the other side of Washington Boulevard is then Marina del Rey. So this is the border of Venice Beach and Marina del Rey. And if you are trying to enter the canals from this section, well, the good part about it is that if you're walking down Washington Boulevard, you will see signs that actually try to help tell you where the entrance is. You can see the sign right there that says Venice Canals Walkway. And then the Venice Beach Boardwalk is just two blocks down that street. Well, if you're interested in checking out more about Venice Beach, my walking tour of the Venice Beach Boardwalk is right here. You'll find Venice Beach Abbott Kinney's neighborhood here and more of my walking tours in the playlist just below or down in the description. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of these videos.